Peach, speaking of pirates, are you streaming tonight? And if not, do you want to maybe be a pirate tonight? Pirate. All right, I made it back to the base. I would Again. also ask if you wanted to be a pirate tonight, but you are, I'm assuming, playing WoW. It's th Sunday night is raiding night. Ah. It's like the one thing we actually do as a group. <laughs> so this is our base. We have all of these things. Why are you running at 60? No, we're just, because we're, now I need to increase screw production. Are you kidding? Oh my god. <laughs> It's always something. No, no, don't we get distracted just yet. We set up a designated screw production somewhere. We do. We have it. We're set producing a one. lot of screws. I just need to... I, I don't think I've overclocked Even the more screw screws. production. I just upgraded all the belts and then left it. <laughs> oh. Okay, we need to make 150 more smart plating. Take that. Power shards. You take that. Not enough space in my inventory. Oh my god. Oh, I almost deleted the space elevator. Please don't delete the space elevator. <laughs> okay. We have completed our uh, automated wiring, so that's done. Nice. Um, well, I'm going to have to go back and deal with cable, because cable is way behind now. Yikes. It's not using anything anymore. Oh! Like, nothing's using cable anymore. That, that is done. Um, okay, screw production. Where are you at, buddy? There we go. 18 ingots a minute. What are you producing? 30. Right, let's How are make you producing? Some power oh, that's why. Okay. So we need you to produce more. So this is the base part of the or the building part. So we have a miner. That's this guy sitting on top of a of a um, iron ore deposit. The miner is producing. 60 iron ore per minute. That iron ore is getting... Oh, I need to upgrade that. Crap. Iron okay, ore is... 21 power shards. Spitting out uh, the raw resources. We then smelt it into iron bars. And the iron bars are being turned into screws right over here. And then these screws then get turned into something else. I'm not quite sure what these screws are going into. These screws are going into reinforced plates, which are completely full. Yeah. We're winning the game. Okay. I think. So then what I think I'm going to do is instead of trying to overclock all this, we have two more things producing screws that now aren't doing anything. Oh, my God. So I am going to split off here and we're just gonna do that and then we're gonna upgrade all these to mark threes if I have enough steel I'm putting the AI god thing in the box because I don't know what we're doing with that <laughs> Maybe it's a shield emitter. Here we go. Okay. So we now, so then these things are making screws and now the screws go into this belt, which we're trucking all these screws. Way the crap over here to this guy, which is making rotors. And then the rotors are going into a box, and we're using rotors for a bunch of other stuff. But that's what this game is all about. Rotors. Rotors. 
I spent all that time upgrading freaking iron plates just so that we could <laughs> be done making reinforced iron plates. Uh huh. Hilarious. Oh yeah, Peach, it's all about the rotors. In the beginning it's about the screws, but then the end game is the rotors. The plastic bins are being made out of iron byproducts. It's space plastic. magic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the fat that comes off the iron. <laughs> I need to put... I have, have so many iron plates that I don't know why I grabbed. That I've just been walking around with forever. I've got enough stuff in my pocket to make seven AI limiters. Do you want me to do that? Uh, do we need AI limiters for anything? Uh, at some point, if we want to make smart splitters. Hmm. Right. Like with how we're trucking stuff back and forth. Yeah. If we want to make smart splitters and smart mergers. Not a terrible idea, I suppose. I'll go ahead and make them. Oh, I'm carrying around a bunch of ore. Oh, uh, check the ma'am. That alternate recipe should be done. <gasps> All right, I have. Okay, what do we got? We could make compacted coal. This is dumb. I hate this. Yeah? So we can make bio coal, which turns five biomass... Is that right? Biomass? Five biomass into six coal. That does sound dumb. Um, choice, choice, choice or prime cut iron? Yeah. Depends on the where we get it from. We can make compacted coal out of uh, coal and sulfur. Or we can make steel rods, which is four rods for one steel ingot. What? Yeah. <clears throat> These are all bad. Yeah. Um, I put a hard drive in the, the box to the right of the ma'am if we want to try again. <laughs> okay. Can I just, like, exit out of this and it'll give me new? No, of course not. Why would that? No, we got to do a full just restart of the game. I, I guess compacted coal? What was that one again? Uh, it's coal and sulfur. It's a one to, well, it's technically it's two to one. It's five coal, five sulfur, it's five compacted coal. Yeah, and I mean, sulfur doesn't have much of a use besides explosives, and even that, we have very limited use for those. Yeah. Unless we want to actually mass produce bullets. <laughs> Which does sound kind of fun. It does. Okay, got another hard drive going. I've got going. my motors, so I'm going back to that uh, that crash ship to get the other hard drive. Or I'm hanging on bushes. Um. Take an Ivy to claim some territory. All right, make sure she picks a good spot. Submit doggos. I don't think this thing works. I thought I like. I, I wish we could Google more, how it would but... work, but like it's a mod, <laughs> right? I found some more iron and. I ran way faster than the game wanted me to. I just stuttered <laughs> so hard. Okay, save game. So that was a scary stutter. All right, now I don't remember how far up this tower the uh, hard drive was. We need to start replacing all of our minor Mark 1s with minor Mark 2s, I think. Okay. What does that take? Uh, 
encased steel beams. Ah. Uh, I see a problem with that. <laughs> Although it wouldn't take too much for us to start and encase steel beam production. It really wouldn't, especially because our steel beam production is capped at the moment. Um, we do need to send some steel beams to the main base. Okay. Because the third part for the space elevator takes steel beams and modular frames. Gross. Okay. Do you happen to drop off any more uh, power shards? Power shards. They should be in the bin to the left of the computer. Okay. Should all be at 100% now. This should be close ish. Alright. It's doubled our wire output. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Found an uh, alien carapace I left behind. Nice. Do we just want to transport iron in? the truck we could uh we could build a second truck if we want we can just have two routes going i didn't know if it would be convenient just to because we're we're not nothing's overloaded anymore <laughs> yeah um i think if we are gonna like we should bring beams over by truck but i think we should also split some of those pipes off into just a storage container because the the truck thing is not outload are offloading super quickly what do you mean now we need to speed up uh because like the truck stop truck deposit vehicle unload thing is not using like not spitting out uh pipes as fast as it is getting them oh i see what you're saying mm. Yeah, well, I, I assumed we would have to build a second truck station. I just don't know how to separate. Oh. That's what a smart splitter would be for, I suppose. Huh? Yeah, so we could have it... Do that. Yeah. I mean, we've never actually... The poor truck. is taking me a wow like 30 meters per second now now we're <laughs> down to 19. because the suit tells you how fast you're going well maybe that's what i'll do is build myself a suit yeah almost hit 40 meters per second. Oh, I just need... Oh, no, it's no, no just need at all, huh? Shoot. Oh, yeah. No, it is an involved process. <laughs> Modular base component. Where is that?
Smart plating and a power shard. Do we have any leftover smart plating? Uh, I got five in my pocket, I think. Uh, no, not my pocket. It might be in that box you're looking at. Yeah, there they are. And a power shard. Ooh, speaking okay. of smart plating, I think it might be time to reload the smart plating assembler. Modular base component. Blade Runners. No, it is not time. Motors! Ugh. <clears throat> you have extra motors? Uh, yes, I've got eight. Oh, is that enough? It's almost enough. Yay, motors. Uh, what is this bin? Is oh, it the one the that I just bin. put a bunch of crap in? Oh, it the, feed the feed bin. bin. Yeah. Oh, oh, why do I have uh, rotors and stators? I put the hard drives in my pocket instead of the, <laughs> the bin. Is that a hard drive in your pocket? You're happy to see me. It's something hard. set up to put beams in this. Okay, motor, 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 motor. Did I miss it? No. I need three more. Up with. Integrated blade. Am I ever gonna have to make integrated blade runners twice? Yes. Ain't it grand? Like once to make the biofuel suit and then again to put in the biofuel suit? <laughs> yeah. Weird. Biofuel suit. Does that just go on my body? Yeah. My body. Do we have biofuel? Uh, no, but it'll use a uh, solid biofuel. Okay. Um, and then if you hit right alt, it pulls up your equipment inventory for your suit. Ah. And then you can load your stuff in that. Oh, does it just generate latent power? That's fun. Uh, I don't know what that means. So your suit generates 12.5 megawatts a second, just in general. So the, I assume the fuel is just... When you want to do it beyond that. Oops. Okay. Gotta make another... Set of Blade Runners. Oh, is this going to be like 50 more motors? No, it was for the... Uh, if you need another set of just regular Blade Runners, there should be a set in the box. Oh, I just made some. I just... I need 50 motors, apparently. That's obnoxious. Uh, yeah, I remember making those. That sucked. <laughs> and more smart plating. Ugh, man. What is modular frame? What do modular frames say? It's prods and reinforced plates? That sounds correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. I forgot what I was making. Why do I have copper ore? Why not have inventory? copper ore? I need 
what do I need to... Smart plating, that's what I was trying to do. Smart. Where do you make smart plating? In an assembler. You like you can't make it in not an assembler? Only in an assembler. Oh, okay. But if you go to the middle assembler feeding the space elevator, that one is making smart plating currently. Okay. Is it feeding it or is it just making it? It's feeding it, but if you just delete that conveyor belt, it should be no problem. So that's what I did. Gotcha. Okay, so let's get some pipes, not pipes, plates. Versatile framework beams. 12 steel beams in a modular frame, that's fun. Ah, smart plate. Don't delete the <laughs> space elevator. Yeah. Oh, do we even have the stuff to make smart splitters yet? Oh, like, do we have access to them? Yeah, I don't think no, so. No, not yet. Well, I'm turning around. <laughs> right, because that was in the quick wire tree. Did part of our base shut down? Did it? I don't know. Our like our power consumption went way down. Um, didn't you say we were full on uh reinforced plate production? Oh yeah. Yep, 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 yep. We probably got a bunch of full boxes of just stuff not making stuff. Yep. Okay, blue prints. We can make coal out of wood. Perfect. We can make wet concrete, which is uh, limestone and water. Or we can make pure caterium ingots, which is caterium and water. I think the wood coal. I guess. Yes. Because these, these all suck. Yeah. Okay, Kateria. Do you have the third? Make smart splitters. The third uh, hard drive? Um, yes, but I'm going to make the smart splitter thing first. Okay. Which means I need to make three more AI limiters. I suppose if I were smart, I'd plop down an assembler to make all these motors. <laughs> yeah. I didn't either. <laughs> AI limiter, what do you take? Caterium, quick wire. Why, why, why did I think anything but? Right. In the caterium tree. and staters. Never noticed how flat the moon looks. Yeah. It's it's a very obvious skybox. Yeah. Okay, 
quick wire. Where'd I put you? Oh my god, that's so much quick wire. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the industrial container completely full. Wow. You see these tubes and think of Sonic. It's not too Yeah, I see I see it. What am I doing? Am I closing everything? One, two, three. Do we need to uh, do something about biomass or biofuel? Like, what's the next biofuel jump? Uh, it comes with oil. Okay, okay. So I think it turns into like liquid biofuel, which you run through like an oil refinery or something. Gotcha. How do I fuel the suit? Uh, just have some solid biofuel on you. Okay. Perfect. Man, you built your suit so much faster than I did. <laughs> well, we had all the stuff. You built yours super early. Like, before we had stator production, so you had to build staters by hand. Oh, that's true, because I built, like, each part by hand. Yeah, I did not have to do that. <laughs> I just ran into our little stator box and grabbed 50 staters. Cheater. Yep. Playing the game the way it's meant to be played. <laughs> Crank up the stator production a little bit. And boop, out of the tube. Okie dokie. Caterium. Build me some smart splitters. I'll be back for you in five minutes. Oh yeah, because we're held up on Caterium now until we get oil production, because we have to make plastic. Mm. And we're held up on plastic by... Oil. Shipping so gotta... stuff into the space elevator. Yeah, so space elevator is like stopping us from all the like major upgrades so we really need to get modular frames going is what you're saying yeah <clears throat> um oh and steel beams huh that's what i'm doing the smart splitters for so i can get those started trucking over gotcha i'm also building some more spiked rebar because i have been not shooting things and that makes me unhappy <laughs> No power? What do you mean, no power? Oh shit, automated nice wiring to... is done. Whoops. Yeah, automated wiring is all done. I have been carrying around 2,300 pieces of wire for no reason. Wonderful. Do I, I don't even know where to put things? it, because I think our wire box is full. <laughs> I think it is as well. I guess I'll just make some cable. As soon as I'm done with this assembler over here, I'm just going to move it over to behind the... where we need to make modular frames. Okay, cool. Or I suppose I could just put modular frames and we could just do the normal thing. We'll shunt it into a box and then move it along. Yeah, we could do that. 50 oh, motors. Man, I was gonna make something. I don't Done. remember what it was. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make that much cable. <laughs> 1100 pieces of cable. Slot cable. Okay. I don't even know what I need all this cable for. I think this is just the wire I found laying on the ground. More than likely. What am I looking for? Modular base component. Can't afford recipe. How? I am one steel beam short. <laughs> what kind of communist crap is that? TikTok. <laughs> oh. Okay, I put 
1500 wire in a box. <laughs> Lower. <laughs> Did I strike a nerve, Peach? <laughs> Thought he was walking his dog. He's back. The, the dog doesn't walk forever. It's pretty what fast do you do walk. to your dogs? Our walks usually take about an hour. Well, it's also Florida cold right now. Hmm. That's fair. Peach is gone. See TikTok stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like your TikTok. I have not watched it. It's Man. got cool shit. I am not young enough to appreciate the hipness of things. I find their algorithm really neat because, like, I I just don't see stuff that I don't like, and it just like it builds off of like the edges of what I do like to find other stuff I do like. That's neat. So like, I liked some Lord of the Rings stuff, and then it was like, huh. Tolkien made a whole language. Maybe he'll like stuff about language. So now I've got like etymology TikTok. <laughs> That's kind of neat. And it's it's really I've learned a lot from it. Back to the tube. Thump. Not young enough to watch videos. <laughs> I don't understand your social media platforms plus it requires me to like download another app and ugh yeah so much work I think <laughs> it would be a really good platform to advertise for a podcast hmm new building because you can do like snippets of your topics with it yeah diva's secretly 65 year old I don't think it's a secret <laughs> He just old. No. It'll happen to you. Not if the 2020s have anything to say about it. <laughs> right. Huh. Oh, I got sucked in the tube. Guess I'm starting on that side. <laughs> are we gonna are we gonna pass each other? No, I turned around because okay. it, it makes no sense for me to start on that side. Because <laughs> otherwise I would have to race the truck back with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to make one AI limiter. Modular base component. T minus 15 sushi minutes. Oh, that's so exciting. What kind of sushi are you getting? Tell me all about it because even though I ate before streaming, I am already very hungry. Okay, integrated Blade Runners, done. How do I... Just like that? Boop. Alright. Okay, built a smart splitter. Now what it do? Left output. Oh, that's cool. I can shoot carrots out the left side if I wanted to. Um, <laughs> and then you can also set it to just dump your out, uh, your overflow. So if we wanted to send stuff into the, uh, whatchamacallit, the awesome sink. Oh. What do was I, I trying to send? Steel beams. Do I have to install a bio reactor module into my suit or what is that for i don't know my suit currently only has the thrust boots and the integrated blade runners tuna and shrimp tempura poke bowl and an eel avocado roll with thai tea oh man that is, that sounds upsettingly good why do all of these take modular base components that's awful because it's the, the base component for your modular thing. And I'll take smart plating, and that's obnoxious. <laughs> that is obnoxious. <laughs> if I could make them... It, you shouldn't be. If I could make them at the thing, I'd be less annoyed, but... Ah! 
I'm just upset, Peach, because I don't have that. Yeah, that sounds and really I, good. I want that. And the sushi closest to me sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck. It's meh at best. Mm. That's almost worse, though. Yeah, like their lunch deal is worth it, but their regular prices, not good. Their lunch deal is like uh, two regular rolls, a bowl of soup, a salad, and a drink for like 15 bucks. 15? Yeah, like, that's a, it's a good deal. That's a lot. <laughs> I mean, I don't think so. Their rolls are pretty decent sized. There was a place in Claremont that had the same deal, and it was uh, $8.99. Oh, Jesus. But then their dinner prices are like $12 for a regular roll. Yeah. What else? Also, I don't want to go all the way to Claremont for sushi. Motors. I need 50 more motors. Get do crafting. I... No, I don't. What do I need motors for? No, I don't need motors. Okay. I need four of these precision thrusters. Which those are easy enough to make. And I can make them in the thing. Don't yeah. Set up a stupid... Okay. Precision motors. There's a pair of blade runners in here. Oh, five dokey. smart plate. Oh my god, excuse me. <laughs> okay, and I will just merge it onto that conveyor belt. Is this going to be beams the one you uh, just the, did yeah so that that smart splitter is sending beams to the left okay and then it's just sending everything else straight forward gotcha, so gotcha. in the event that we do start sending something else over we'll have to uh, adjust the logic a little bit Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man, we're sending a lot of beams. <laughs> That's good. I mean, it takes 12 per thing. Yeah, because we're pretty bogged down on pipes anyway. Yeah. Right, modular base component. Done. Thrust boot module. I'm missing four cable. Oh my god. Unacceptable. What side of the base are you on? Because I've got 300 cable in my pocket. Oh, I just. I'm right by the thing I just grabbed out of the box. Thrust boot module. Go. I wasn't talking to you, Spybot. Uh. I'm upgrading the input to the truck station to a Mark III. Because we were choking a little bit now that we merged. Much better. And then our gigantically long line of quick wire that's going to stuff that we're just not using. 
Oh, quick wire becomes relevant once we start making circuit boards for like supercomputers and stuff. Yeah. Oops. Okay, so I'm not mad about waiting on it now. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna race the truck back. Because it just took our first shipment of beams. Kind of trying to figure out how this power works for the suit. <laughs> I don't quite get it. <laughs> the numbers don't... don't make a ton of sense. Yeah, I think they're there to look pretty. <laughs> okay. That or it's just uh, math somewhere. that I am not thinking of. I think I'm just going to throw the assembler like... I can't here. tell if I'm actually burning fuel or not. <laughs> Alright, well I guess we'll just throw this guy down. No, let's do it proper. God dang it. I wonder if the suit changes color once we upgrade to like a different fuel source. Because like this is the biofuel suit, is like the oil suit orange. Well that'd be kind of cool. But then like what color would the new <clears throat> suit be? Watch the frames, reinforced, reinforced plates, iron rods. Are you setting up modular frames? Yep, doing it right now. Okay. I just heard you talking about it, and I was like, oh yeah, we gotta do that. Come on, tractor. Fully prepared to see you do something stupid. Oh, but you're outside of my, like, good draw distance, so you're just slideshowing across the landscape. <laughs> How many beams are you going to offload? Probably Although just a that metric wasn't a full shipment. Crap ton. It only offloaded like 200 this time, but it wasn't a complete like representation. Because I think it was already on its way back when I got the beams in it. Hmm. This produces two modular frames per minute. Holy oh, this cow. Is this is an interesting factor that I didn't think of. Hmm. When it offloads, it, or when the stuff comes out of the, uh, oh shit. Uh oh. Uh, when stuff comes out of the, the thing, I, I fucked up. I didn't. Oh no. Yeah, when stuff comes out of the truck station, it goes in the order that it uh was put in. So if it's, mm. it's oh, not an even dump but, so what you need to do oh shoot i forgot so really you need the you need your smart splitter to be just outside the truck stop and then you need to dump uh you need to split it out into storage boxes and then export from the storage boxes i was totally yeah. gonna do that and completely forgot okay well uh we've got that opportunity now because i have to fix the the fuck up that i did so okay I didn't configure the straight, so it was sending beams and pipes, or it was sending beams both directions and just not pipes to the left. Gotcha. Um. 
conveyor belt is too steep. What? So I'm going okay. to, um, those might be a little too close. there and I lost them. Nailed it. Oh, that's an input, not an output. Ah, okay. Then we don't need the merger. Okay. Oh, yeah, so I've got the last that. batch of smart plating getting cooked up and sent into the space elevator. Smart splitter. So, left output. Steel pipes. Right output. Steel beams. Okay, truck, show me how much you're offloading this time. Okay. So now it should offload, it should dump the station's entire inventory into two separate boxes. Okay, cool. It dumped just shy of 600 steel beams. No, do not unplug that. Give me one second. So you're sending beams to the right and pipes to the left? Yeah. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell the center to do none, just in case connected. we sent something on there. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, so beams on the right, pipes on the left. So what should happen now is that anything that gets loaded into the truck station should immediately get exported out of the truck station and into their corresponding box. Cool. It'll take a minute for that to catch up, but... And then you can just export it out of the box that they need to be exported out of. And then I'm going to set up a storage container. Oh, do you have a, your chainsaw? Yeah. Can you get rid of this tree? Uh, maybe. Ah, oh, yeah. Thank you. No more tree. Man, it's still... Go, oh, these things are flying out of here. Approaching on the. Oh no, I'm gonna break the nice, succinct look of the. everything because this wind turbine's in the way. Stag it on top, who cares? 
Oh, well, but then you can't reach it because this will be modular frames. That's like almost sort of important. Oh, that is kind of important. Well, we have jetpacks now. Yeah. Well, I'll just move this turbine. The jetpacks. Jetpacks. Storage, there we go. You're crooked. What's the snap to? Oh, there it goes. Nice. I don't want to nitpick, but I think. Oh no, you made it the right direction. It just looked backwards from where I was for a second. <laughs> I think I thought I made it the right direction. So on my screen, you are just sort of running into... Oh, it is a little crooked. Well, because it's not sitting on the ground. Yeah. You're just sort of running into a corner. Oh, that's weird, because I was just calmly standing in place watching you. Yeah, no, on my screen, you're absolutely just like... Hoofing it into the corner of this assembler. <laughs> huh. Weird. Alright, so we got modular frames. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no? Give me that steel beam. Nope. There's a steel beam clogging up this uh, assembler. Oh no. It's stuck in there. I can't get it. I think you're just going to have to deconstruct the... This game sucks. Oh, you whose idea was one. it to play this? <laughs> hey, we could switch to Factorio. Uh, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's taking stuff now. The adventure in Factorio is uh, twenty minutes into your death world when the all the biters attack you at the same time and you lose everything. That's very exciting. Oh, it's also why we don't play Death Worlds. But we could also start a beach farm in, Saturday, in a Stardew. We could. Well, they put boba pearls in the Thai tea. That sounds really good. People in your words. Fair belt Mark Two. What are we? Primitive. Well, this is for, uh, friggin' modular frames, of which we're making five per minute. <laughs> oh. Which is the triple overclock speed. <laughs> five per minute. God, I should probably just make, like, a couple more, huh? <laughs> oh, they didn't give you chopsticks? When's the last time I had Cheetos? Can you borrow a pair? Uh, haven't had Cheetos in a while, but I have a reusable pair of chopsticks that I just keep with my utensils. That's what I need to do. I say that, I'm pretty sure I say that every time we get, uh, sushi. Yeah, having my own pair of chopsticks has been just game changing. Because, I mean, honestly, I use them for, like, Cheetos more than I do sushi. Because I don't want Cheeto dust on my fingers. I don't want to look presidential. <laughs> I am out of power shards again. Damn. I gave you, like, 20. Well, it's because instead of, like, adding more things to make things, I just keep shoving in more power shards. <laughs> That's fair. All right, I'll go on a power shard run. I'll just pick a direction I haven't gone yet. Because we need more rod production. Which is crazy to me, because two seconds ago it was completely full. Oh, I 
forgot about this conveyor belt that just like tanks into the ground before going into your greenhouse. <laughs> so I put like 20 minutes ago, I put uh, 16 alien organs into this biomass to make biomass out of them. Yeah. It has eight to go. Jeez. That's a long time. Oh, there's a dog. Dog out. If you can oh, get him to have it in my hand. get over here, like I couldn't get him to. I, I did that to two of them and I couldn't get him to come over to the base. What was I doing? Power shards. Eat it. Eat the berries. I pet it. Okay. We're, we're cool now. So. The doggo is following me. You have to like walk him all the way to the base? No, he'll typically <clears throat> just run with me. But I assume I do have to bring him all the way back to the base. God, they're so cute. Oh, this is plate production. That was the wrong thing to put a power shard into. Give me that back. The question is, do lizard doggos cross water well? The answer is yes, they just run along the bottom. Where's the farm? Uh, it's right by the ticket machine. Ah, uh, okay. I like how I ask where the farm is as if I wasn't the one that placed it. <laughs> He's in. What does it mean? I don't know, but I submitted a doggo. Okay. Aw, you're too freaking cute. So 37.5 times 2 is 75, yes? Uh, 10.9? 32 32.5 times 2 is 75. Yes, yeah. Oh, he keeps staring at me. <laughs> I gotta run away. Do I have an output pulling stuff out of there? Uh, I don't think you set that up. Because we didn't have any dogs yet, so we didn't want to just waste time with it. Right. 37.5. What? What are you saying, Peach? Are you mathing us? Peach is trying to communicate. <laughs> Not possible. Did you ever end up getting on that island out there? Yes. Oh, okay. Did you find anything? Uh, a power slug. Ah. Oh, he said 32.5 is half of 75. It's 37.5. Yeah, isn't that what he said? I don't know what he, he said. He said 32.5. Oh. I meant 37.5. That's what the thing says. <laughs> Hey, it's a Mercer Sphere. Still work in progress? Yep, don't care. Okay, this direction sucked. I just ran into the ocean, not trying to math battle me. <laughs> Sounded like you were trying to throw some math hands. <laughs> Probably important for some reason. I assume it was. I don't know, he's the nerd. Nerd. I'm the one that runs around and grabs slugs. Ooh, what are you? Sam or strange alien metal. <laughs> I think they changed the color palette on Sam. It looks way more oil slicky. Is it? It's like extra shiny. To the point where I thought it was something modded into the game. Uh. 